trying. Anyways, hey, good afternoon. Day 16. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. We have a few items uh, to discuss as we look ahead to next week. One is on Monday, uh, April 20th, we are going to have a, a packet pickup day. Um, this will also include drop-offs for those teachers who request you to drop off some of your child's work. Each grade or each teacher will be emailing you separately. Um, so make sure you read which, uh, which work is being requested to come back um, for, your, for your child. Uh, and, and like I say, it, it might be wise to use the old packets that we handed out uh, a month ago and use those to bring back work. So as you pull up tomorrow, or sorry, on Monday, as you pull up, you'll be uh, greeted. Um, we'll place packets again in your car so you can open up a back window. Uh, we'll put it on the, uh, wherever you ask us to put. And then on the driver's side, we'll have a drop off bin going by. So it's a little bit different, um, but we pray that it will work well. It'll be from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. We're going to do two hours. I know it's early for some of you. You guys are used to waking up a little bit later. Um, but just know that uh, we want to get there, get the packets and information into your hands. Uh, that way you can have it. We'll also set back or, or move back the uh, one o'clock or the 11 o'clock RAS reading attendance deadline. And we'll move that to one o'clock on Monday so you can take your time getting back home. Second, we are working through some of the end of the year ideas. Currently, we are planning to end school on June 3rd uh, for kindergarten through eighth grade. Uh, we are able to keep our initial ending date because we uh, moved to remote learning uh, so quickly uh, soon after the stay home, stay healthy. So as of now, we plan to keep that date. One of the questions I've been getting is, are we going to go to June 19th uh, like the public schools? As of now, no. So uh, lastly, I want to continue to answer your questions in my uh, daily emails and videos. So if you have questions uh, concerning anything in regards to the education process, what we're doing, why we're doing what we're doing, please feel free to email myself or Mr. Drogue, um, and I'll just try to continue to a uh, answer some of the questions that I've been getting. Um, one of the questions that we came up, uh, that came up was uh, in regards to uh, attendance and what we're doing um, in regards to attendance. So we've been doing really well as we met this morning with our uh, middle school staff, elementary staff, and actually the whole staff. Um, some classes are at 100% participation uh, most every day. I know that we have a couple classes where we have a student or two that uh, with connectivity issues and we're trying to work through that. Um, that's a stark contrast to what I'm hearing from the public sector where uh, public school kids and some of them uh, teachers that are friends of mine are talking about 40% of their students or less are, are uh, trying to um, continue the education. So uh, what does that mean for us as a private school? One is it, it, it just gives great value to the fact that you guys value the education um, that, you're, uh, that you're asking us as teachers and administration to provide your, your students. So I know it's not easy, but I thank you for, um, for, for working so hard to make that happen. A couple things that, to be mindful of um, is that uh, as we head into spring, we'll do one more um, pack up, pick up, drop off day prior to the school year on May 18th is the plan right now. We may slide that up or move that back depending on how um, the next month goes with uh, our ability to either uh, come back and congregate of some sort. Uh, so May 4th is kind of a big date for us on, on just knowing what we'll be allowed to do as a school and possibly meet in smaller groups. Please pray for, for that as private schools around the state uh, it's been made known to both the superintendent of public instruction, Chris Reichdahl, and to the governor that uh, private schools desire a graduation experience for their seniors. And, and public schools do too as well. But uh, we were really pushing uh, for some sort of ability because of our size to be able to offer uh, that experience um, uh, with students together rather than some hybrid or something other than what's been done before. It may uh, only be close family, maybe something, but please pray that that um, is allowed and that comes through. Uh, so that's one thing to keep on, keep on mind. So blessings to y'all. I pray that you're able to enjoy God's creation in a unique way, uh, an amazing way this spring. Uh, it's beautiful out. I also pray that you're able to take the time and see the, uh, the gifts that God has bestowed on us in these times of trials. Uh, I've thoroughly enjoyed being home with my family more. Normally I'm coaching on the weekends or we're active with sports or other things. Uh, and we've been able to play a lot of Catan, um, enjoy each other over uh, dinner, 
over lunch and breakfast at times. And it it's one of those things where uh, if you look for the blessings in this time, I think it takes uh, a little bit off your mind in regards to the trials that are there. So day 16 seems like a perfect day to simply sit back and reflect on God's goodness. Uh, spend some time in prayer and in the sun. I think both are needed at this point. So blessings to you all. We'll see you there. Bye. The tiger looks like they're down. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to get that tiger and move it. Sleeping Lazy Cat Productions. What? Oh, I think that's happening. I think that's happening.